tutorial I'm going to show you an easy way to use GoPro's free editing software to edit a clip that's in forward motion into reverse motion so that it plays backwards. In part one I'm going to just take a simple clip and show you how to play it forwards and then backwards. And in part two I'm going to show you some editing techniques you can use to mix it up to make the clip look really good. I'm using GoPro Studio 2.0 for this tutorial. If you don't have it, you can go to GoPro's website at gopro.com and download it for free. It works for both PC and Mac. And the first thing I'm going to do, since I'm starting a new project, is just go up here to File, Save Project As, and give the project a name. And I'm just going to save that. I'm also going to make the window a little larger for everyone to follow along at home. So I'm just going to go up here to Window, Zoom, and that'll make it bigger. And under step one, you got to bring in your file. So go to here, import new files, and select the file you want to use for this tutorial. I'm going to select this one here and click open. That'll bring it up into the dialog box here on the left. If you click on the file, it'll bring it up into the editing window. And here we can adjust the length of the clip and also convert it to slow motion if you shot it at a high frame rate. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to trim it. Um, I'm going to go past the action and stop it after it where I want to stop the clip and mark the out point. So I just go to right here and click out and then I'm going to go back backwards through the action to the beginning and right past where I jump in, get a little bit of the pool and click the end point here. Now you can see the clip is shortened to this length here and I'm also going to change the frame rate so go under advanced settings I was shot at 120 frames per second and I want this to be in slow motion so I'm just going to change that to 24 frames per second and that will change it into slow motion and click OK and add the clip to the conversion list and then I'm going to click convert and it's going to start converting it to slow motion and give us the shortened clip. After the file is finished converting you can just click on proceed to step 2 and it'll prompt you for a template that you want to use. We're just going to use the blank template for this. So click on blank template and click create. Step two of GoPro Studio is where you can adjust the visual appearance of your clip and you can also mix clips together in the storyboard down here. This is where we're going to play our clip in forward and then we're going to make a copy of it and play it in reverse. So the first thing you want to do is just to bring up the clip into the editing window here. This is where you can adjust the visual appearance and you can also adjust the length of it again. Um, to adjust the appearance, you can go under Image and adjust Exposure, Contrast, or some of these settings. I'm going to just do a little more contrast on it, but I'm pretty happy with the colors of it as it is. Or you can try some of the presets that GoPro has set up down here. After you're happy with the visual appearance of the clip, you can fine-tune when you want to start and stop. You can drag the yellow box here for the start point. For part one of this video, I'm just going to use a short clip to show you how to play it in forward and then reverse. And in part two, I'm going to use a longer clip. So I'm going to drag that to there, and I'm going to grab the end point here and bring it to right to the point where you want it to start reversing. So it's going to play forward motion to here and then I'm going to have the water up stop and then right there I'm going to copy it and have it reverse. So after you've adjusted the visual appearance and the length you want you can drag this clip down into the storyboard here. Now that adjusted clip is here you can make sure it's selected it'll be highlighted with the yellow box and you want to copy it. So you click Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC. And then you want to paste a copy of it also. So you do Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC. And now you've got two copies of that exact clip. Now click on the second one to highlight it. You'll see it'll be highlighted with the yellow box. And up here under Video, click Reverse, under Direction, Reverse. And that's going to reverse that direction of that second clip. Now if you play it, you'll see that it's the first part of the clip is in forward motion. And as soon as it gets to that last point that you decided you wanted it to reverse, it's going to start playing back in reverse motion. Part 2 is a little bit more complicated, but for those of you who want to follow along, I want to show you how to integrate the reverse motion back into the rest of a clip. So what we need to do basically is separate out the part that we want to reverse from the rest of the clip. I'm going to use the whole clip that we selected from before and drag it into the storyboard here. And I'm going to scroll along it to right before where I want the reverse action to start. 
So right before I come in the frame, I'm just going to split this clip and have that first section be a section on its own. So you can go up to here to split clip and click that icon and that makes this its own little section. So now we need to go to the end of where we want the reverse motion to stop. So there's a clip on its own at the end too. So we'll go to right where the water stops dropping and we'll split the clip again by clicking this icon. And now we've got the clip here that we separated before that I showed you how to put into reverse. It's on its own here. And with that clip separated, what you want to do is copy it and paste it back in two more times. So with it selected, with the yellow box around it, on a Mac, click Command Copy, and on a PC, click Control Copy, and then paste it in twice. So Command V on a Mac, Control V on a PC, and it'll show up right after that clip here. And now you can see the same clips in here three times. And what you want to do is select on the middle one of those three and put it in reverse motion by going over here to the right where it says video, direction, click reverse. Now that clip's repeated three times, but the first one's forward motion, the second one's reverse motion, and then it goes forward again. Now to make it more interesting, we're going to click on this third one and speed it up a little bit so we're not watching the same clip in slow motion twice. So over here under video, speed, you can just speed it up to say 250%, whatever you, what looks good to you. And now if we play it, it's going to go forward, reverse, and then forward again in a quicker motion. And now this clip we didn't want to reverse, so I'm just going to speed it up so it matches the speed of this clip. This one's at 252. I'm just going to type in here 252 so it's the same speed. So now we've got the whole clip separated into five sections. We've got the intro with just the water. We've got the forward in slow motion, coming back out in reverse, and then forward in faster motion, and the end part of it. The final step is to either add some more video clips into your storyboard here or to export the video file. So if you want to export it, you just go into step 3 up here, click step 3 export and give it a name and choose one of the presets here. You can if you want to do a 1080p or 720p and click export and it'll start exporting your movie.